Hi, Destiny Nunley here with Five Points Blue, and we have Brian Broaddus, the legend from DallasCowboys.com, yeah. here to add, um, answer some questions about OTAs. They started this week. Yep. What does it look like? I know we talked briefly about what OTAs are and all that stuff, and we're trying to just figure out what it actually looks like yeah. on the field. Yeah, it's it, this with OTAs, you know, it's now the combination of the rookies and the veterans. We've talked about, we've kind of given our the Five Points Blue followers an understanding of what OTAs is. And, you know, it's the organized team activity. Right. So it's the first opportunity for the coaches to get on the field with the players and as a collective group. Right. And I do know that we talked a little bit about OTAs being optional, but no one wants to be that guy that's not there. Right. That being said, Zach Martin was not yes. there. So what yeah. does that mean? Yeah. First time, mean? Destiny, yeah. that we haven't had Zach Martin being on the field and Zach Morton's made what I think is a smart decision. I think the I think the front office understands, the coaches understand. He's in a pretty big contract negotiating negotiations right now. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that he plays a position that traditionally has not been paid. Okay. So offensive tackles get paid, mm -hmm. quarterbacks get paid, guards don't traditionally get paid. Now the last couple of years they have. Right. So they're trying to figure out ways, Zach Martin's agent and the, the Stephen Jones, right. on how they're going to structure the deal. It, this is going to be a lot of money, but he's got to protect himself. Right. He can't get out here, get hurt, then all of a sudden the Cowboys say, whoa, wait a minute, Zach, got a bad shoulder, bad knee, right. now we don't want to pay. Exactly. So speaking of pay, OTAs are paid. I did not know that. Oh. Yeah, someone told me that the other day. I didn't know that you were paid. So you're going to be part of it? You want to be part of it? <laughs> yeah, get me out there. Get all the five points blue. Run around <laughs> and work out and get paid. Yeah. Um, no, just besides that, what are we looking at rookies-wise? We have two huge holes right. you know, with the starting lineup, and I know a lot of guys are competing for that spot. What did it kind of look like on our tight ends or the wide receivers? Oh, yeah, no, there's a lot of it. And, and I think you could go through a couple of different ones with, with – you know, what's going to happen at wide receiver with, with no Des Bryant? And right. you're going to have to replace that energy. You're going to have to replace a guy that was a Pro Bowl player for you at one time. Right. You know, they go out and get Alan Hearns. They go out and get Thompson. You know, they go and they draft. Uh, you know, Michael Gallup mm -hmm. has gotten some opportunity. Uh, they, you know, it's it's kind of a group traded for uh, Tavon Austin. Right. Is another one. I'm, I'm kidding. A lot, a, lot, yeah, a lot of names. But, you know, they've got to figure out who these guys. Now, you do have Cole Beasley. You do have Terrence Williams, but, you know, Terrence isn't practicing right now. He's had some off-the-field stuff as well. But they're going to have to figure out, again, Alan Hearns. Does Alan Hearns fit that spot right. where Des Bryant play? I mean, Alan can play a lot of different spots. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's kind of a group that's kind of you know, a lot of things going on there. Tight ends the same way. With no Jason Witten, mm -hmm. you draft Dalton Schultz. But you've got some guys in place, uh, you know, when you look at uh, – when you look at uh, – Jarwin, and then you look at Swain, a couple of those guys as far as tight end prospects. They don't have a lot of catches. They have experience, but not a lot of catches. Right. So a lot of a lot of questions going into this training camp for sure. The battle of the QBs. Ah. I think, don't we have like, we have four. We have four. Yeah, you do. Yeah, we're okay. I hear they're okay with having three, so yeah. that means. There you go. You, 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 you understand this You understand this <laughs> roster building. A little bit. Yeah, uh, you know, the, on your 53-man roster, they're probably going to carry three. Last year, they carried just two quarterbacks. When you carry two quarterbacks, that allows you to carry a player at another position, allowed to have 53 players, but, you know, you can divide it up however you want to divide it. You carry three quarterbacks, means you might carry one less tight end. Might mean you might carry one less wide receiver. Might you know? So they think the dynamic is going to be a little different. It'll be a really good competition when you and I talk again as we go through training camp and all that. Yeah. Is what ha what's going to happen with Cooper Rush as the backup quarterback? We know established the established quarterback is Dak Prescott. Yes. Okay. Now what's going to happen behind him? Cooper Rush and then Mike White. You know, Mike White was brought in. Mike White's looked pretty good already. You know, him and Cooper Rush are going to have an interesting battle. Mm -hmm. The only thing Cooper Rush has on Mike White right now is one year of experience. experience yeah. So those are the things you kind of look at. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, I think that's all I have. So thanks for sitting here with me. Yeah. The field in the back. This is where practice took place today, and we are so thankful to have you. Well, thank you. Yeah. I always enjoy all my time with Five Points Blue. I mean, it's, uh, it's educational for me, and, and I appreciate all your good work.